Sprint Rising, good morning and great awakening. Today, getting some work done in the garden. Just gonna string up some um, fencing for the tomatoes. But I wanted to drop a little gem on you guys today about the word inoculate. The word inoculate, it's, it basically means to have a pathogen or instill a pathogen within a person's body so that you can properly vaccinate or protect them and providing by providing them artificial immunity. Now, when you look at the when you look at the concept of what immunity is, we all have natural immunity. We all have this this sense of healing. Now, when you also break down the word inoculate, you start to look at these these suffixes and these prefixes of in, which means internal, and oculate, which means to possess eyes. Now, when you start to look at the concept of artificially putting in place what we naturally have, which is our own natural, natural capability of healing, what do we need inoculation from? Now, this starts to beg the question of what can we actually do about this inoculation? Now, if we are possessing eyes to oculate, they are putting artificial things into our body to inoculate us. So now what this does is it shows you there are things that are possessing eyes internally. I'm ingesting them. When I look to think that I can't inoculate self with these with these habits and with these portions of knowledge that I have internally, then what do I actually bring to myself? What do I actually stand for in a sense of what my healing is? And healing is just heal lane. You are healing the internal self. It is healthy. To be healthy is to heal thyself. Healthy self. Heal thyself. This sense of inoculation is not going to protect you. It is not your all in all cure, but yet we hold on to it as a security. We hold on to it as a security blanket. We hold on to it as if I am in a dis ease, whether it's mentally, spiritually, emotionally, physically, whatever it may be, I am counting on this external and artificial thing outside of me to inoculate and to possess the eyes that I do not currently have or to possess the eyes to see as far as I can internally to inoculate. All we have to do, brothers, sisters, is really understand and understand deeper the self and the words that we use throughout the day. This is the point of etymology. This is the point of understanding that yes, English is or may be your first language, but everything derived from Latin, everything that has derived in that sense has come from Latin. And Latin is the actual form of spellbinding. This is where we have to take a look at what are we actually doing? What are we actually saying in these words, in these inoculation ways of accepting and instilling within not only our brain, our bodies, and our mind, but we are instilling the concept of what these things actually could be. And we are telling our body, we are telling it subconsciously, as well as consciously, that this sense, this state of being, this state of healthy is going to be my future, is going to be what I am putting into it as I truly am in this day. Take sight, take security, and take heed to everything that you say, everything that you ingest, everything that you accept as truth. Self-knowledge is the best knowledge. Feed yourself 
nourish yourself and you will understand that yourself is the actual true truth. Inoculate that. Smile out loud and embrace your soul.